I'm currently working on a project for my main channel which uses a model aircraft with a long boom tail and a rudder and elevator um, configuration at the rear. Now this is from my vertical takeoff plane uh, and the way that I used to do it is I would have a servo inside the fuselage which would push and pull a control rod which would then move at the rear here. Now this setup works pretty well, however I've run out of uh, control push rods and they're not that cheap to buy off eBay because they have to be shipped in a long tube container because they don't bend very well. Now another way to control a control surface from a long distance is to use a piece of string. The only problem is with a piece of string is that string can only apply forces in tension, it can't use compression. So in the example of this thing, I would be able to pull the elevator down because of the horn underneath here, but I wouldn't be able to push it back up. Now some of you may have heard of compliant mechanisms before. They're essentially things that can be manufactured in one single part, and they usually have some kind of uh, pivot bending point or some kind of leverage system to achieve a different output from a certain input. Now I've made this small assembly, which is essentially a servo and a control horn, and between the servo and control horn is a piece of string rather than a steel push rod and I can move this elevator up so as if the plane were to climb into the air and I can also move it down. Now this control horn is actually attached to a spring system inside of this hinge which might be easy to see on the underside. It's basically like a zigzag spring system inside of the hinge which allows it to be spring loaded about the exact hinge point along this foam board and tape hinge. Now what this system allows me to do is to run a lightweight string between the servo in the fuselage and the rear elevator at the back of the plane. Uh, instead of having a heavy steel push rod going from the front to the rear, uh, I just have a nice cheap lightweight piece of string. Now I'm sure that this system won't be able to undergo the stresses in like a really high speed plane. However, for the uses that I'm using it for, a nice lightweight, slow flying plane, it should work pretty well. I'll be putting the CAD files up to this compliant mechanism hinge on Thingiverse, so you can check out the link in the description down below. And I'll be putting the Fusion 360 files there as well, so if you have Fusion 360 or want to download it for free, you can simply just extend the length of this hinge to increase the tension required to push it down. One final thing I want to talk about is how I developed this thing. Uh, it's a very simple mechanism when you look at it and you probably wouldn't guess that it took me four hours to design for how simple it looks. However, it's actually quite complicated to design something that can be spring loaded, uh, have some flex in it out of such a brittle plastic such as uh, PLA which is what I 3D printed this part with. Uh, I came up with many different solutions such as this which is like a spring loaded underside section. I think I designed about 10 different models total uh, I 3D printed eight of them, but yeah, it took me about four hours to come up with this design, which I'm fairly happy with. I'm not sure how long this thing will last in terms of fatigue, uh, whether it will lose its springiness or eventually snap uh, due to the brittle PLA, um, but it's something that needs to be tested. I hope this inspired you to try something similar, and if you do try something similar, uh, hold re full responsibility yourself to any accidents. <laughs> Uh, the tension of the string always needs to be pulling the elevator up because you don't want to get stuck in a vertical nosedive. Um, and yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.